take a look at this. It's an op-ed from the New York Times, their star columnist, Tom Friedman. He says Israel, after the Hamas terror attacks of October 7th, is a different country. The author of the new book, Genius of Israel, Dan Senor, joins me now. Dan, welcome to the program. Good to be with you. Is, if you went back to Israel now, would you see it as a different place? Has it fundamentally changed? Uh, you know, we wrote in our book about the solidarity of Israeli society, how Israelis all come together yeah. in moments. They, they're like a big family that fights. They're an argumentative family, as we lay out in the book. But you get poked from outside, that family comes together, and the divisions disappear. That's what we predicted in our book. We didn't anticipate October 7th, but October 7th is has triggered what we were predicting, which is that this country, I mean, I'll give you some data. Reserve duty, 360,000 Israelis have been called up for reserves. That's larger than the standing armies of the UK and France combined. Yep. It represents about 120 to 150% of turnout, meaning is these, the IDF overshoots in its, in its call-ups. They, they call up more people than they need because they don't think everyone's gonna show up. They're getting 120 to 150%. That's the vibrancy and the, and the self-confidence and the coming together of the country. And in that sense, I think Friedman is new to something, but it doesn't mean it's new in Israel. Hey, what about the political standing of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu? I've, I think he's in some trouble, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's in real There's trouble. There's a Look, divide. After every, as we, we go through the history of crises, in our book we go through the histories of crises in Israel, particularly national security crises. And the Israeli process, they typically have a commission of inquiry after a war to find out what went wrong, if it did go wrong. After the 1973 Yom Kippur War, it ended Golda Meir's career. There was a, there was a commission of inquiry after the 2006 Lebanon War. It ended Ehud Omer's career. So the, the, the process is pretty ruthless. There's a lot of ca accountability in the Israeli system. I think I don't see how Prime Minister Netanyahu or other leaders in the military and the intelligence community there survive after the commission of inquiry here. But I also don't think there's going to be a change in leadership during the war. The Israelis right now are pretty, they have, there's deep um, criticism of Netanyahu, mm -hmm. but there's no one suggesting they should change him in the middle of the war. The country is really holding together. And that's, in our book, we explain why that is, like why the society, even in, in, in difficult times and non-difficult times, really hangs together. Will Netanyahu, will the IDF press forward no matter what until Hamas is totally crushed. Will they do that? Yes, I think they will. Despite all the public, all these demonstrations well, all over the world. This is a very important question. And I, I, what the Israeli leaders I speak to say, and the Israeli leaders I chronicle in our book say, is they score no points internationally by losing less badly. I got it. Yeah, yeah. basically, Understood. like, if we yep. dial it back yep. to the point that we constrain our ability to eradicate Hamas, if we dial things back, all these protests, the outburst of anti-Semitism, the Students for Justice in Palestine that are organizing on the college campuses, they're not going to dial things back if yep. Israel says, okay, we'll do a temporary ceasefire. Israel's attitude is, you had a ceasefire on October 7th. You, Hamas, ended the ceasefire on October 7th. You had one on October 6th, you ended on October 7th. If you really want a ceasefire, eradicate all your weapons, give back all the hostages, and declare unconditional surrender. Okay. Dan Seno, good luck with the book. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Dan. Check futures real fast.